everyone. Welcome to our show, Bible in Our Daily Lives. Valerie here with you, and today we have a dear friend with us, Daniel Benwoka. We're very pleased to have you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. It's really good to have you. Thank you. <laughs> and Daniel, the first question I would like to ask you today in our interview is, how often do you read your Bible? Well, I read my Bible at least once a day or sometimes at least twice a day. I try to do the morning and the evening reading. Yeah. Wow, that's really incredible. All right, and then I love that answer, but then are there times when you find it difficult to read your Bible? Well, as a student, I know all students out there can relate with this. As a student, you find it really hard to read the Bible when you know you have um, a morning class, which mm -hmm. is very early in the morning and all that. Yes. And then you come back from school very late, so you feel stressed and tired. You don't get to read your, your Bible in the morning and the evening, you just want to rest. So yes, there are times I find it hard to read the Bible. So then in all the myths of waking up early and coming back home late, when do you find time to read your Bible? Well, I find it I find it interesting to read it during uh, you know the twelve midnight period when everything is in quote calm. That I mean for me that's when I find it interesting to read. I get I get to settle down and read. I know at that point I'm not feeling too <laughs> sleepy and too tired, and at that point I'm not feeling I'm not too occupied. So yes. Oh, that's awesome. Well. Okay, then another question, and how does reading the Bible impact your life? Do you see any differences when you read and when you don't read it? Well, yes, like what Atlet said, he knows, he knows when he practices and he's doing well, and he knows when he's not practicing and he's not doing, doing well. Yes, when I read the Bible, I see that I have things to give people. I, when I talk to people, I know mm -hmm. what I am feeling and how I am giving to them. But when I don't read the Bible for maybe two days or so, when I talk to people, it's like I have nothing to give to them. Yes. Even if yes. I am talking to them in a way that to them is encouraging. But to me, I know that I am not doing as much as I thought. So yes. Yes, so definitely conclusion here, reading is what has a lot of impact, I would say. All right, and then um, would you have any tips to share with us on how to better and encourage us in reading our Bibles daily? Yes. Well, one good thing that can help us is making reading the Bible uh, a daily lifestyle. Well, yeah, a lot of you must have heard this before and you're like, yeah, how do I do this? <laughs> well, how do you do it? The thing is, you can get them sticker notes, those little sticker notes. You place them around you. Write those verses, Bible verses, mm -hmm. First John or something. One of those verses that you find really interesting. Write them on those little sticker notes. You can place them close to your bed on your uh, on your refrigerator, you know, place them in places where you can easily see them. So the more you look at those things, you'll be reminded of what you have in the Bible. And the more you look at them, if you haven't read your Bible, read your Bible for that day, you'll be reminded that, okay, I need to read my Bible. And also, I can also advise that you get an audio Bible. Get an audio Bible on your phone. That's why we have, you know, technology. We have to use it for the good of the kingdom. Amen. So you get the audio Bible in the metro on your way to school. You can just, instead of listening to, you know, Jesus loves me and all that. I know that's, that's cool. But also you can listen to the audio Bible. I mean, that's the message. I know book like the Bible. All right. So thank you so much for sharing all these great tips with us. I will surely get some notes for myself tomorrow. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> all right. And is there any final word you'd like to share with our viewers for this week? Okay, if, I, if I'm to say something just right now, what I would say is, the Bible is life. Like the Bible, like the Bible himself says, it says, it's a mirror. The more you look, the more you're being transformed. So you don't want to spend days without looking into the Bible. <laughs> look more into the Bible. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, brother. And I love this example of really the Bible is a mirror that we need to look into. And I just want to encourage you, I see even if you're not following right now the plan, try sticking to it and just dig into this word because it is beautiful. And let's be transformed and become more beautiful just as the scripture is. So God bless you all. Stay tuned for our next video and we'll see you soon and love you all.